I'm having a cup of tea today. Um, while everybody else potentially may be suffering from being late to the party, um, I'm completely fine. Um, want to take this opportunity and congratulate uh, the Aduro team for all the hard work that's being put in and will continue to be put in. Uh, wish them a happy New Year's in 2024. Uh, much, much more to come. I, I typically don't do stock market reaction videos. I, I think that um, they are futile in nature. But to recognize what this company has done uh, uh, over the course of 2023 and to be ending the year this way, could it be suggestive? Uh, could it be a sign of times to come? What our close network would consider to be a long overdue and a much needed re rating of the company uh, at its current value being assessed significantly undervalued, um, not to um, ignore the uh, hard work that Aduro uh, is uh, going to continue to deliver on going forward. Um, and not to continue to acknowledge uh, the progress that is is needed along their customer engagement program. I don't think anybody would deny that. But I want to speak to you a little bit about the philosophy of earning of owning this company and how it is going to be incumbent upon any investor looking to put one penny into this company, which, uh, tongue in cheek, I would suggest that perhaps maybe we stand the chance of saying goodbye to the pennies and hello to the USD, which will be fantastic. We can start to put a multiple uh, on these ground floor uh, positions that we've made in this company. I think anything sub $1 is uh, an absolute steal. Um, my fair market value over this company conservatively puts it at five and a quarter. Um, now, I've been very, very forthcoming about uh, could the company give back everything that is up today, having reached its all-time high of $1.07. We're going to jump into the charts, discuss a little bit the action, but certainly uh, slamming the door on 2023 in a very, very strong way looks like a move without a whole lot of fundamentals backing, which – you know, I've only put as much merit in a move like that as necessary. I've been through this before. Um, I'll be through it again. Um, there will be a significant amount of new highs, new bottoms, um, and new milestones for this company. And when a non-fundamentally based move happens in the stock market, I chalk it up as being what it is, and I take a drink of tea. Uh, and I chill. Um, I've owned my shares. I was buying the last block of shares in the low 80s, uh, stopped at about 86 cents. That was my last round of accumulation. With this last run up, I'll closely monitor, certainly will not be chasing here. But for those of you guys who are interested in the story, there's enough fundamentally that uh, is absolutely fascinating with this company. The current deals that they have going on, this, the, the beginnings of what could materialize into some very exciting collaborations with big industry, uh, as well as um, some of the uh, advanced discussions that they have and, and, and some of those that have been disclosed via the dossiers that uh, they shared on the last webinar um, that uh, our group uh, just recently uh, offered a reaction uh, for the grander audience. So we can kind of understand a little bit collectively what type of consensus we've got wrapped around this. But I will say there will be people who catch this on a social media uh, offering. Uh, they will buy the stock having zero appreciation for what these guys are trying to do and a, a zero appreciation for the magnitude of the potential moves that this company is capable of genning up in the stock market. Um some of the greatest mistakes that I will suggest will happen with this company is owning the company and selling for a profit prematurely. Um, you will suffer from uh, premature investoration, if that's a thing. Um, you take that for what you will. Laugh it up if you'd like. No problem. In all, in all seriousness, those that understand and see the value in this company – uh, I assess a, a value attachment to this company, and I'm long the shares. 
Um, I have no uh, inkling whatsoever to engage in any type of short-term trading activity for the sheer reason of what is being presented now in the stock market, trying to accumulate shares while it's jumping up and down like a whipsaw back and forth is not something that I recommend any investor try to do. Um, unless in fact you are justifying panicking yourself into this position right now because you've afraid you're afraid that you've missed the boat. Uh, while all the while calmly over the last 13 months we have gave everything we've got. We've kicked over every rock, um, every milestone, um, every perceived setback. If there have been any with this company, it's been very, very difficult uh, to assess any type of negative bear case or any type of negative attribute to the progress that's being made uh, in this company. Uh, and, and it's very, very difficult not to be optimistic about the future. Um, however, I do promise that throughout the course of covering this story, we will continue to, yes, be optimistic, but we will at the same token attempt to be realistic with the day-to-day -day goings on and fluctuation in the stock market, which quite frankly can be chalked up as futile in most cases. But to make an all-time high for a Duro is uh, to be commended. Um, their efforts certainly on a small scale are, are in a small capacity being rewarded uh, and rightfully so because I do chalk this up as a potential start to a long-awaited re-rate of the company. Let's jump in and we'll take a look at the stock action. Anytime I present uh, Aduro Clean Technologies from my perspective, my videos are covering uh, ACT, HF. Uh, I know there's a big conglomerate of those following the stock uh, in Canada as well, where the company is domiciled. Uh, just be advised, please. Uh, the company has been over uh, the, the $1 CAD for quite some time now. But just to, here recently, you can see the spike here on the charts, um, the one-day chart. It's actually retracted just a touch today, but worth noting uh, Aduro Clean Technologies is one of those companies that we have covered now, at least I have for 13 months, uh, long awaited and uh, long anticipated re-rating of the stock. Uh, my current value of the company puts the company at at least five and a quarter, and I'm, I'm being very conservative with my numbers. Um, I, I'm not going to put on a pink dress and come onto YouTube and jump up and down. Um, stock action is something that I typically don't like to focus on very often. Uh, however, with this company, uh, I think the stock chart tells uh, a very uh, interesting story in what has been um, a, a story in the face of a microcap market that has been very challenged, uh, spurring back multiple years and just as of late has gotten a little bit of bump here. You can see the past month, the performance of the company. You guys know that just as of late, I've been accumulating the shares here uh, in the low 80 cent range. Um, my highest buy point was 86 cents and I stopped there. For you guys that are monitoring this company, I, I, I give you a couple of tidbits to take away. Um, this company will be impossible to hold if you have not done your due diligence. Um, the company has been very, very difficult to find uh, strategic buy points outside of a 10% plus or minus move either direction. Very difficult. If you find that I am wrong in that application, I bid you happy hunting on trying to get your perfect injection on what has been a perfect stock chart. I would take the stock chart for uh, any value company out there, let alone a company that is valued just over uh, 60 million US at this point that really has not gone through any type of re-rating as we speak. Now, the jump in the stock price today is worth noting, certainly worth noticing, uh, reaching that all-time high of $1.07 USD and thought I would just make a video to highlight the same. If you've accumulated your shares in Aduro, go make yourself a cup of coffee, go make yourself a tea, sit back, enjoy the ride. Um, like I said, there is one way and one way only out of a myriad of different ways to own this particular company, uh, and that is long. That is long. 
the only way to justify the opportunity here, and they only come once in a while, and they come very, very infrequently, sometimes once in a lifetime. And my friends, sometimes the misconstruence is such that in the microcap space, you have to win on every stock that you purchase. You will win on every investment that you make. Uh, that is a far cry from the truth. As a matter of fact, I'll convey it to you now. You should only expect to win on very few. And when those wins come, they typically come in a very, very big fortune. And quite frankly, in many cases, it's a lot of where a lot of fortune is made in the microcap space. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in to this all-time high in a Duro stock. Um, probably hit us at a time where we least expected it. If you enjoy the content coming through the channel, hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. If you don't like it, unsubscribe. I could really care less. If you have comments about the action today or any of the movement of Aduro Clean Technology stock now or going into 2024, tune in, join the community. We'd be glad to have you continue to kick over rocks as this story unfolds in front of our very eyes. Guys, thank you so much again, and good luck in your investment future. <laughs>